example four, we have the limit as h approaches five, h minus five, square root of h plus four, minus three on the outside. Okay, problem with this one, we plug in a five here, five plus four is nine, square root of nine is three, three minus three is zero. And then if we plug it in here, so we have zero over zero, which means we can't use substitution. So what we're gonna use is a different method where we can multiply this by the conjugate. So you just change the sign on the second part. And we do that to the top and the bottom. Okay, on the top, we're just gonna leave it kind of in factor form. this. On the bottom, we're going to do distribution. So if we do this times this, we get h plus 4. This times this is going to be 3 square root of h plus 4. If we do this times this, we get negative 3 square root h plus 4. If we do this times this, we get negative 9. Now the nice thing is, these are opposites. So they uh, cancel out, and this and this are going to leave us with a bottom that is just h minus 5. Okay? Now on the top, we can cancel the h minus 5, because our entire bottom is h minus 5. Now we can just try that limit again. Plug in a 5. square root of 9 plus 3, which is 3 plus 3, and so our limit is 6. Moving on to example 5, we do the limit as x approaches 1, 1 over x minus 1. Um, so this one's not going to work out with substitution again because we're plugging in a 1, division by 0 here, plug in a 1 here, also division by 0. And um, something I want you to get used to when you're working with limits, if you have 1 over 0, we're going to call that, that's the same thing as infinity. And so we basically have infinity minus infinity. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're essentially going to try to combine everything over a uh, like common denominator and add those all together. It's the general idea of what we're doing. So if we factor this, we can think of it as x plus 1 times x minus 1. It's a difference of squares. And so this is just missing an x plus 1. So we need to multiply that out. So the bottom is x squared minus 1. Top is x plus 1 minus 2. Um, if we do that, we get x minus 1 on top, x squared minus 1 on bottom. We can factor it back out, though. We see that we have an x minus 1 on the top and the bottom. So we are now looking at this. Now if we apply our limit, we're going to plug in a 1. And we see that our limit is uh, 1 half. Now we're going to try example number 6. And we have limit as x approaches, where is it, 2? It's x squared minus x plus 5 over x minus 2. If we plug in a 2 here, there's division by 0, so we don't even need to test the top. Um, I'm going to try to factor the top and see if we have an x minus 2 in there. Um, we don't. 
so the next thing we can do um, we can try to graph this maybe and see um, Uh, actually what I should do is test the top because we need to see if it's in an indeterminate form. So like infinity minus infinity, it's not going to be that. Zero over zero, infinity over infinity, things like that. So if I plug in a two, I'm going to get two squared minus two plus five, four minus two plus five, two plus five is seven. We have seven over zero. So I actually did need to test that top. I <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but we know that the limit does not exist because it's not in indeterminate form. It just happens to have division by zero. Okay, now example seven. We have the limit as h approaches zero, h plus a squared minus a squared over h. Okay, so if we plug in a zero, we get division by zero. If we plug in a zero up here, we're gonna get a squared minus, so it is indeterminate. So we need to keep going further with that. Um, and we're told that a is a constant. And so what we're gonna do, we're going to expand the top. So we're gonna think of it like, not being squared, but something times itself. So we get h squared plus a h plus a h plus a squared minus a squared, and that's all still over h. Um, these cancel because they're opposite. So we have that, and then these combine. This has an h in it, this has an h in it, so we can cancel. So we're left with h plus 2a. And now we apply the limit. So we're going to plug in a 0 for h. And so our limit overall is going to be 2a. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.